by two points. Well done, gentlemen. The crowd go wild! Hooray! On cue. <laughs> Excellent, gentlemen. And an exercise now, I think. The spirit of the rancid four. Oh, was my wife. Here we go. Run! 
What is it, Jester? Well, there's a bit of a technical discrepancy, my lord. Yes? Well, um, Sir Giovanni clearly struck Sir Bertram down, and I'm sure he had him yield, therefore Sir Giovanni's the victor, but then Bertram is back on his feet and he struck Giovanni again. Oh, well, I'm not really sure who won, my lord, sorry. Well, I was momentarily distracted by some flash photography. <laughs> so we will go to the fourth official. A replay, gentlemen, in slow motion, if you would. <laughs> Mind, we go to the slow motion replay from the last blows of the fight. Sir Giovanni there, yeah! locking a yeah! high blow from Sir Bertram and forcing his blade to the ground. He wipes his brow with his left hand. Ah! The yeah! oh! There's the leg sweep, that's going to hurt in the morning. Oh! Hold! Can we see another angle? <laughs> <laughs> and play! And here we have Sir Giovanni's signature yeah! finisher move, the mighty uppercut. Bertram's down. But Giovanni did not have his man yield, he's showing off, he's showboating! Bertram's back on his feet, he strikes Giovanni, does he have his man yield? He does, he does! I can't believe it! The statute oh. of arms of 1292 says you must have your man yield. The victor remains France! Oh, thank you, thank you. I hate 1292. But your applause for our noble retiree, Sir Giovanni Acuto of Italy. Well done, Sir Giovanni. Congratulations, sir. You could always just open a restaurant now, though, should you want to? <laughs> Jester? Yes, sir, Dorman. You seem to have omitted my score from our scoreboard. Oh. Would you please tell the audience what my score is? What your score is? Yes, my... Well, <laughs> wha oh, wha what would you say, Sir Thomas, if I told you I'd uh, forgotten to tally your score? I would say I would have your eyes pulled out by magpies. Well, that is inventive. Very well then, yes, Sir Thomas, of course, you, uh, sir, have scored a mighty 101 points. Whoa. You're so skilled. That's a very good score. Well, well seeing as I'm so far ahead, it would be unsporting to continue. And again, the numbers on the tournament field are uneven. I myself will stand down from the tournament. Oh, another round of applause, good people, for Sir Thomas, stepping down in order to make the numbers even. So Very well, an exercise now between the four remaining knights. A particular favourite of mine, this one, the spearing of the peasants' heads. No, you're not a peasant squire, you're a squire, squire. You'll see placed upon our tournament field here this day, the freshly severed heads of peasants in bags. Our knights will ride down and attempt to secure them upon the points of short lance. Just to explain the scoring. Oh, the scoring is quite easy for this one, actually. Uh, the knights run down. If they get ahead, they get a point. Excellent. Gentlemen, you may ride. Make some noise, thank you, people, for your chosen knights. Spain and Greece. Ooh! There's a split there for both knights. Come on, Sir Richard. Ooh. And ahead for France. That's a point of France. You can say it, but it is. Point of France. Oh, it's a problem. 
And your appreciation, or otherwise, for our two remaining knights, Sir Juan Nunez of Spain! Yay! And Bertrand de Castle of France! Yay! I'm sure you're very glad you came now, aren't you? Oh, what? <laughs> Go away, you frightful little oi. The uh, final scores, please, Jester! Uh, final scores! Ladies and gentlemen, Italy unfortunately was knocked out. Third place goes jointly to France and Spain. They'll have to halve a bronze medal there. With a five point bonus, bringing him to 12 points. In second place, our silver medalist is Sector of Athens for Greece. But our runaway winner, with a huge 16 points, and gold medalist is Sir Richard Delavache of England! <laughs> here at Warwick Castle. But for now, from the knights, and the squires, and Tony the Jester, and myself, we bid you farewell. Gentlemen, salute and lead on. Very well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for your appreciation once more, my friends, if you will, for Sir Hector of Athens for Greece. the Trojan shoots the fireballs and instantly